everyone, and welcome back to Moss Tree Village here in our beautiful Animal Crossing New Leaf world. And is it just me or, oh my gosh, look, another hybrid iris already so soon. I did not expect to get a hybrid iris that quickly because I hear that these guys are actually very difficult to reach, like very difficult to get. But you know what? It's kind of making me excited to potentially decorate with these black irises and maybe these yellow roses and maybe some of the other flowers for autumn. So that's really exciting and our special trees are ready to be harvested and we have some very very special mail today so let's take a peek at this Yee, we've got two letters okay and let's go ahead i'm pretty sure one of them is actually from red there we go from red's gallery Dear Cousin Siri, Crazy Red would like to thank you again for your wise purchase of the common painting. I'm sure you'll feel content with your choice. From Red's Gallery. Well, thank you very much, Red. I'm pretty sure I'll feel content with my choice too as soon as I can turn it into Blathers. So I'm really hoping that this common painting is the real deal. So when we take it to Blathers, it will be able to unlock the next expansion for the museum. That is my big goal. Oops, sorry about that little hiccup. All oh, right, so wonderful. We've got the common painting and I sent Blanche a gift yesterday because I was really worried that she'd be moving away. And what did she send back? My dear Siri, I read that letter you wrote to me through and through. Imagine the recipient reading your letter while, ri while you're writing. It can be really fun. Write back if you'd like to. Wonderful. So she doesn't seem that excited about my gift, but at least I was able to give it to her and hopefully she won't move away now. All right, and I also have managed to figure out how to use the QR machine and we have some new designs and it turns out to put the designs on your villagers requires taking your SD card out and finagling with it quite a bit. It's a little bit of a process but I think it can be done. So we will definitely be working on figuring out how to put our designs that we get from other people on display so that I can put them on our villagers because I've got some really fun ones picked out. This is actually the fancy vest that I would like to... Dun -dun -dun. I want to put this on Caesar. This is actually the outfit I hope Caesar can wear in the future. This is actually the outfit. Dun, dun, dun. I want to put on Punchy with some general modifications so that it doesn't have like the little human patch. I guess we could call that like a little, a little kitty chest patch though. But I want to give this to Punchy so that it can look like he has a kitten inside of a little pouch on his, on his like sweater. Because I think that would be really fun. Like maybe it's a younger sibling. And then this Galaxy Ombre is the design that I want want to give to Aurora. And if I can trace down, I just have a gigantic folder where I've been saving for weeks now. And if I can trace down where these come from, I will for sure try to give credit in the links. I, I was really bad about it because I was so new at everything and I was just super excited to see it. Whoops, Daisy. I want to put my dress back on, my alpine dress. I would like to put it back on, please. Eh, there we go. There we go. But yeah, I was super bad about it because I just saved everything into my, my folder from Tumblr because I was so excited. Oh, there's Punchy. Punchy, I have a shirt for you coming up. So what can I do for you? I heard a rumor about you. Everyone's saying you're some kind of bug whisperer. I'm jealous. I wish I were popular enough for people to gossip about me. All right, so Punchy's happy. <gasps> Our campsite should be done. Let's go check out the campsite. Oh, and while I'm over here, I need to plant. Okay, we'll plant the things in a little bit. Campsite, campsite, campsite. Oh, there's a cricket. Campsite. <gasps> here it is. The campsite is constructed. I'm so excited. Oh, Blanche, Blanche, you're still here. I've come to a... Okay, please tell me. I've come to a realization, Siri. Moss Tree and I go together like, well, a lot like bubble tea and potato salad, and they don't go well together at all. So I'm moving out of Moss Tree on the 26th of this month. I hope you understand, Siri. No, Blanche! Don't move! What? You want me to stay here that badly, Siri? Yes, of all of the villagers, I want to stay. Blanche, I want you to stay here, please. No offense, Kid Cat. Well, if you guys, I guess if you say so. <laughs> well, if you say so, I guess I have no choice. I'm staying quite so. <gasps> Yay, Blanche! I could celebrate that, Kit Cat. Give me a second here. I am trying to bond with my friend. I'm so glad you're staying, Blanche. Can we talk? Do you need anything? Can I tell you a secret, Siri? Okay, this is really hard to talk about, but I'm having a bad hair day. I know it probably looks okay to you, but to me, it's a total disaster. Do you ever get that feeling? Unfortunately, yes. Huh, so you know exactly how I feel. On days like today, I just want to be a rebel and buzz it all off. Yes, all those feathers you have sticking out up there. 
And then I can throw away any combs and brushes and products and save myself an hour each morning. Ironically, I actually have real life hair that is down almost past my waist to my knees. And it only takes me maybe two minutes to brush it every day. That's it. But I don't know. Maybe it's just it gets to a certain length and it's easy that way. Ah, but when I have a good hair day, it's all worth it, don't you think? Of course, it's best not to let a few funky follicles ruin your day. Now I just think of the old saying, good hair, bad hair. I'm the one with an activator and the straight iron. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Blanche, I'm so glad you're not moving. I'm so relieved. I'm going to plant some flowers over here in celebration. The yellow lilies can probably go over by the campsite. They look very lovely over here. And then actually, Blanche, I actually have this special little spot. I don't know why she would try to move. I have pampered her so much. Because here's Blanche's house, yeah? Look at all the roses I've planted around her house. I have done my best to try to make her feel comfortable and welcomed and happy here, so I'm quite alarmed that she just wants to up and move on us. All right, and I also think we need to go get some persimmons. I need to turn in these these pieces to crazy red. I'm glad Blanche isn't moving. I want that fish just out of the blue. I don't know why. I just want to catch a fish. There's so many fish. Come here. Come here, fish, fish. Hey, out of the way, other fish. You're just like Kid Cat getting in the way while well, we're trying to focus on something. Come on, little fish fish. Ah, oh, there he is. Oh, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Come here, little fish. Oh, what is he? It's a carp. Okay, sweet. Oh, and so the carp is a new catch, actually. Awesome. Well, you know what, other little fish fish? I don't want you to feel lonely, so come on in. Here, I'll put some little bait on here. I have no idea what... I well, I'm a bug whisperer, so I probably am using beetles from the island as bait. All right, come on. Come on. Oh, all right. Oh, and Tabby is fishing, so maybe Tabby... Oh, is this another new guy? A rainbow trout. Sweet. All right, well, sorry, Tabby. I can't give you either of these fish because they're, they're going to be for the museum now. That's just the way it goes. What is the special item at retail today? Tiger beetle. Well, if only she had told me that, like, on a different day, that would have worked out better. And let's see if anybody special is visiting. So we have a fully constructed... Yes. Oh, this one's new. I don't think I've had this one before. A gold nugget! What? That's so cool! Alright, I'm gonna make sure I put that gold nugget away. Oh, there's a birdo! Uh, thanks to everyone's generosity, Moss Tree has finally completed the much-anticipated campsite. Yay! I'm very happy about that. I can't believe I got another public works project done so soon. I guess we can work on the dream suite next. I paid off a lot of my loan. I think I want to finish paying off my loan so we can expand again. But I do want to pay off the dream suite. So we'll get the dream suite built next. I'm going to save this. Let's see. Where can I put my little... Oh, I have some fossils that need... That actually need to be take, taken to be processed. So we'll take those. Swap that out. Sleep bed, trunk, thurman, fancy doll. I've got a lot of random things in here. The common painting. Hopefully he'll be able to take. I am so excited, you guys. Oh, actually, let's move our little gold nugget. I forgot I had a little spot for my crystals. Oh, dang it. I just sold an emerald yesterday, too. No, I think I have one on the floor in my house, so it's okay. All right. So what do we have in here? Manhole cover, which I guess we can give and trade and sell away. whole bunch of random things to give, trade, sell away. Barb steel. I'm pretty sure that he's got these guys, but I guess I'm going to grab a few of these just to make sure. Natty tea, stags, beetles, um, oh, and a fossil. And a horned elephant. Okay, so I'm pretty sure he's got everything else, but we're gonna take this over to Blathers. I'm so glad that we talked to Aurora. So giving her a gift didn't really seem to win her, or not Aurora, excuse me, Blanche. Oh gosh, I'm sorry, Blanche. But giving her a gift didn't really seem to win her over for staying forever and ever like I thought it would. Hello, little cricket. I'll look at you in a second. I just wanna make sure, is anybody over here? Nope, nobody is visiting down at this part. Oh, there's a little cute little butterfly. Pretty sure I already have that butterfly. So yeah, nobody is visiting. Another butterfly I'm pretty sure I already have. And I do want to check out Big Top's place really quickly, though, to see if Big Top has the drum set he bought from me out. <gasps> he does! That's so cool! I love that you can actually affect what they put in their house. That is so much fun. So Big Top, he's got the drumming music going on, so he definitely is working out. I love the idea of him as a drummer. Big Top the drummer, huh? Welcome, Siri. Seriously, make yourself at home. <laughs> Seriously, really big top. Okay, you just won me over with that pun there. That's pretty hilarious. So what can I do for you? Want to chat my friend? Today's fight is shaping up to be an epic bout. In one corner we have Siri from Moss Tree. And in the other corner we have a shark from uh, the water. Who will triumph? My money's on you, Siri. Get that shark and show it to who's boss. Uh, I can try. 
Don't, like, sharks? Why do you guys always want sharks? I'm going to remember all of my villagers always want sharks. So if I ever catch an extra shark, which usually only comes out at night, apparently, then I just need to save it because they, they want sharks. Well, I guess I, I won't question it too much. All right, so I think I need to plant some golden peach trees up here. That's been occurring to me. I want to decorate the town a little bit better. Definitely need to get the dream suite set up. I haven't visited Club LOL yet either, but all right, first things first to Blathers. I'm coming, Blathers, and this time I think I have an authentic painting because the statue with bat wings just didn't look right. It was like demon bat wings. I, I just didn't, I don't think that was the right one. Blathers, Blathers, wake up. It's so important, my friend. I have some pieces for you to examine. Fossils, fossils. Come to, Blathers, come to. I'll start bringing you a coffee. I think you can actually build a cafe inside of the village, I found out, which would be so cool. So I think I would definitely want to do that. And we definitely are starting to lean more and more towards making a moss tree village instead of like a big forest village, because there's people who do that amazingly, especially with hacking their game. But let me go ahead and give him these. But instead of doing like a really fancy, beautiful aesthetic forest village, I think we'll make it kind of like a little tiny farming community because I think that would be really fun to be able to sort of play with a little bit of everything and just see how the villager stories play out. Like, I wonder why Blanche wanted to move away. Does she feel like there's not enough culture here? I feel like she thinks there's not enough culture here. So I really want to go out of my way to expand the museum. All right, so yes, yes, yes. Don't worry, don't worry, Blathers. Sorry, I was thinking about my friend Blanche and how I want to convince her not to move away. Uh, maybe I should start giving her flowers, like in the mail every day, to prove that there's culture. All right, let's. Anyway, let's make a donation. But I like to play like that, where you kind of build stories. Yeah, look at all those fish, fish. Yay! All those fish were needed. The only thing that wasn't needed was like one fossil and one dragonfly. This is like a fantastic. Come on, please tell me. <gasps> yes. Good! I think that that was an authentic piece. Wonderful! We didn't get anything turned down. Thank you, Blathers! Oh, I'm so excited! Does that mean the art piece is really there? Let's go check it out, you guys! Our first authentic art piece! Okay, where is it? Oh, wow! I don't think I've ever been over here before. It's quite, it's quite lovely. I guess we'll have all of those statues. I guess we just have to very slowly collect those pieces as Red comes and visits. Oh gosh, it's so nice and official back here. Where's the piece? Oh, there it is! <gasps> Thank goodness, I was so scared for a second. I really thought it hadn't been an authentic piece. But there we go, you guys, our very first authentic art piece. This is fantastic. So now we have a slow but sure expanding of the museum. I think I have to come and talk to him. Uh, I think it's at night. Like, you come and speak to Blathers when he's awake at night, and then he should tell you about wanting to expand the museum. So I'm really looking forward to that. That should be wonderful. Oh gosh, and let's go see our hammerhead shark. It's been so long. I haven't really given the museum a proper tour, so we'll do a quick little museum tour. I think the shark would be really exciting to see. I really do need to do more fishing. I might start devoting one day out of the week to giving my per myself permission to do fishing. Because right now I just feel like there's just so much to do to make sure we're not missing any special people who stop by. And trying to get expansions and upgrades for our beautiful town. <gasps> Oh, cool. Oh my gosh, so cool. Oh my gosh. How can you not fall in love with just watching this? This is so relaxing. Oh my gosh, look at him. Look at him. I want to do more. Is that a little puffer fish? And it is a puffer fish. I totally forgot I even caught a puffer fish. <gasps> look at the shark go. You guys, I love this. Oh, oh, who are you? It's the eel. It's a little eel. Look at him. Man, that's awesome. I cannot wait to do some more fishing now. That's going to be so much fun. Oh, that's so cool. Anybody in here? Oh, there are some over here too. Look at these guys. And it even has a little information that you can pull up about them. Oh, when they were donated. What, what day they were donated. I've got hiccups. I'm so excited. Oh, you river fish, just wait. I'll be sure to get lots and lots of your companions so you don't have to be lonely in there for very long. Hello, everybody. Oh, hello, little guy. We have a teensy little guppy in here. He's a cutie. 
He's a little cutie. Guppy donated on September the 18th by Siri. They're tropical fish. They're related to killifish and live in warm rivers. They are popular fish that have been bred to have beautiful flowing tail fins. Mother guppies give birth to their babies after the eggs hatch in their bellies. They give birth at a rate that's nearly constant, so their population tends to grow rather quickly. Yep, that's guppies, all right. A lot of people get into guppy breeding. They're one of the uh, most popular live-bearing fish that I know of. All right, so is that everything? I can't wait to see what goes over in those little containers. That's going to be fantastic. So our fish section is looking great. It definitely, like, I felt like we had caught tons and tons of fish, but we're still missing so many. I wonder if we're missing very many insects. I think there's fleas and things to collect. Hi, guys! Oh my gosh! It's so pretty! Wow! All of the butterflies and the little hermit crab and the butterflies are just free flying everywhere. There's so many different types of butterflies. Oh, this is so lovely, you guys. This makes me happy. I don't think we need to look at the fossils just yet. Look at the size of that guy, the bird wing butterfly. The sound the crickets are making. Oh, look at all the happy tropicals. They're pretty content over here. They've got lots and lots of trees to cling on to. My little rainbow stag is somewhere in this mess of beetles. So it should be pretty happy too. Is there another room? Or does this lead the way out? Oh my gosh, there's another room. Oh, <gasps> Genji! Genji, you really wander around town quite often. This is, this is actually a bit of a surprise to find you here, my friend. Are we beetle watching together? Yo, Siri, you into bugs too, Otaku? What can I help you with? This is like paradise for all these bugs, don't you think? Whew, pardon me, I had to sneeze. Yes, Genji, I think it's paradise. I'm so happy that you like it here. Aw, oh, yay, Genji loves my bug paradise. Genji, you just went up in my esteem, my friend. I have a perfect t-shirt I want to give you. So it is a little bit frustrating because yes, you do indeed. Oh, is that a bee? Did, did my beloved donate a bee? No. Okay, it just looks like a spot where a bee could go. That's adorable. Unless, did my beloved donate a bee? I don't think I would have noticed. I would have noticed if I got a bee. No. That's interesting. Well, I'll keep an eye out on that. Because Chips is playing. So every now and then I might stumble on something I wasn't expecting for donations. So that's kind of a little fun twist to what we're doing here. All right. So that's enough museum tours for right now. I'm going to go ahead and pop over to Tommy and Timmy's place. See what's going on in there. All right, go grab some pretty flowers. Some I definitely want to plant some persimmons and maybe some lemons down by the campsite so that we can have a happy campsite down there too. I can't wait until we can actually get some bushes. Also, I haven't been to Club LOL yet, but I could have sworn, is it only open at night? Maybe it's only open at night. And I'm close to paying off my house, but not yet. I'm pretty happy with the size of it at the moment. Hello, Nook. Welcome, welcome. I'm just trying to see... I was hoping maybe he would have like the hedge fencing because I would buy that in a heartbeat, but not nah, no luck so so far. All right, don't worry about it, Nook. We're, we've got this. All right, so let's go check on Tommy and Timmy, and we're gonna see what they're selling in their store today. I was so disappointed when I realized you couldn't just scan in like the pro designs on QR codes and then turn it into displays, so you could buy the thing and sell it to your villager. There we go. But, or, and like put it on your villager, but we'll get there eventually. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Oh, it's a little ping pong table. Oh gosh, what the heck is this? A game show stand? No, I'm really not interested. I can be quite sincere about that. However, I am interested in this. It's a stove. I will take it. I could see myself using a stove for something. Wonderful. And Chips actually does enjoy this game quite a bit. This thing, the tennis table. Uh, so I'm gonna buy it. We're gonna send him a tennis table because who couldn't use a tennis table? That's awesome. All right, an industrial ball. Um, what does it look like? Oh, that could be cool for like the inside of a space station, but I think I'm okay right now. All right, let's go ahead and look at the carpet. See what they've got here. A cheese floor? What? Oh my gosh, I'm really, I'm really okay. It's, it's definitely an interesting concept, and I could see how it could work for some people, but not for me, my dear. All right, there we go. Thank you so much, Tommy. It seems like Tommy is there quite often, or I'm just getting Timmy mixed up with Tommy all the time. 
All right, so that's working out pretty good, you guys. We'll check in on the Able Sisters again. I really want to see the pro designs get turned into outfits for the villagers, but it does look like you kind of have to do a little bit of roundabout hacking to do that. However, I think it'd be worth it. Oh, yes, please. I would love the lilies. Very happily take the lilies. And then let me go ahead and very happily take the purple violets. I think that would be wonderful. I would love to decorate with purple violets and eventually, okay, look, I'll even buy the cedar sapling today because we're kind of on a roll now. There we go, cedar sapling. Yes, I will go ahead and buy it. There, and hopefully Leaf will be really happy. I pretty much come in almost every single day and buy his happy flowers and his happy little cedar sapling. All right, wonderful. But yeah, we will be figuring out the roundabout loop de doop to do so that we can figure out how to put the villagers in the outfits that I actually have picked out for them because I really want to see them wear something else. But until then, every opportunity I get, I will actually be buying t-shirts and giving them to the villagers. This would look really good on Aurora, for instance. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this. And I'm hoping, I think she will actually buy it. If you go ahead and you send it to her, like she'll just not wear the sleeves. So I'm gonna buy that for Aurora. You can't give them dresses, I found out. They won't wear dresses. So we'll buy it for Aurora and cross our fingers that it'll work. Oh my gosh, that's the most adorable little fishing hat, but I actually have like my Viking helmet for fishing. So I'm good, thank you, Laryl. Label even. All right. So I've got a few things to give away as gifts to my, my villager friends now, hmm. Hmm, maybe I should go buy some stationery and just write some notes really quickly. Uh, because then I can send out some notes. And let's see, tennis table to chips, stove to myself, uh, even just to just keep it. I do have to look at the catalog. I keep forgetting. I want to, I'm going to look inside the catalog just to make sure that the items are there real quick. And then, um, let's go check on Aurora. I want to make sure she's doing okay. And we'll plant some of the flowers and grab the persimmons. Oh gosh, this is so wonderful because you can just come up with more and more things. Yay! All right, is, what did I just buy? Now, let's see. I just got the stove. Is the stove in here? Stove, stove, stove. Yep, the stove's here. All right, well, I feel pretty confident. Now I can give the stove away if I need to. All right, so let's go hang out with the villagers for just a minute while we plant a few of the new trees. It's kind of fun now that I know the secrets of being able to, the secrets of being able to go ahead and um, go to the island to collect all the beetles. I don't really need to focus too hard on collecting up all of the, the peaches for peach jam anymore, but I still want to collect it now and then just because it's a fun little, a fun little memento. It's our town, kind of our town motto in a weird way, like sell peach jam, happy peach jam. It's our town food, that's what it is. All right, so there's normal peaches. And then let's come down here. I wanna grab some special peaches. Punchy's checking out my special little irises. And I hear if you actually cut down the special trees like after they die, like the way this one did, then you can actually grow Okay, no mushrooms back there. You can grow some special mushrooms. So I'll be digging out my ax to maybe do that work in a little bit too. All right, hey, Dabby. Anything going on for you? Fish flakes, hello, hello, Kerpow. So what's going on, Kerpow? What's the latest, Dabby? Hey, I'd like you to come over to my place sometime soon, Siri. I even clean my room for you. How about it? Well, sure, Dabby. You've got a lot of really cool stuff I would like to buy. Oh gosh, all right, well, I'll see you at 4 p.m. So we'll have to see if I can snag something cool from Tabby's house because she's got some pretty fun things. And then, do I have enough room for these persimmons? If I sell a couple things, I do. Let me go ahead and just sell the fossil really quickly and we'll see how much it's worth. And then just while we're planting a couple things around town, <gasps> Genji! Oh, do you want my gyroid? Yeah, go for him, go for him, buy him! Here we go, perfect in your house, sweet! Genji's been everywhere lately. It's like we're running into him mostly in the shops. It's really funny. Thank you, Genji. I highly appreciate that. Yay! Now I'm going to put a stove in here. Because then, you know, I'm going to just tuck the stove in. No problem. Because, let's see, stove? Yeah. If the stove happens to sell, then that's awesome. If the stove doesn't sell, then I can just decorate with it. And then our villagers could make all sorts of delicious food if they happened to buy the stove. So that would be really fun. And yes, I know they wouldn't really make food, but I'm very much a role player. I love telling stories. All right, so we're going to sell the T-Rex torso. 
And I think we'll go ahead and sell one perfect peach. I'll save the perfect peach. I'm actually, now that I don't really need, um, wow, the T-Rex torso is worth a lot. Now that I don't really need the bells, because I can just go and hunt down some awesome beetles, which I still love to do because it's very relaxing. I have been saving the perfect peaches so that I can hopefully give them to you guys as gifts for when I start going and visiting your towns, which I think would be a lot of fun. Apparently you can leave gifts for one another when you visit towns, so that's my goal. All right, I don't need all of these persimmons actually, so I might take these over to Reese in just a second, but I do want to plant, come here persimmons. Apparently these are hard to get too. I guess I could plant persimmons all over town as like a special a special thing that we can have for fall. So yeah, maybe I'll plant persimmons everywhere in just a second here. All right, but for now, okay, I don't think I can plant it there. Have I planted peaches successfully right up against the fence? Because all my other things died, but I think I've planted peaches. Okay, did I give them a gap? Did I give all my peaches a gap? I did! Okay, so we need to give my peaches a gap, but we'll plant the perfect peaches up by town, the entrance to the town. Because I think people pop out right there, so if people pop out right there, then I'm actually going- not right there, silly goose goose. I'm gonna plant a perfect peach right here. I think that's the closest I can plant it, so we're gonna go ahead and plant a perfect peach right here. So we can have a perfect peach tree. There we go, to show off what our town is all about. And then we'll have another couple perfect peach trees right over here. So another one right there. Wonderful. Gonna cover that up, snag this little guy, and then I think I may actually plant it just a little bit, no, not quite there. Just a little bit down to give it a bit more of a varied look. And we will be figuring out which flowers to keep and which flowers we're actually going to, um, we're gonna remove or maybe give away as gifts or something something in the future too. Cause now that I know the easy peasy way you can like go to the island and go on a tour and just collect up all the flowers you want, that's definitely something we'll plan on in the future too. All right, so now let me gra grab some lemons really quickly. I don't need to plant all the lemons, but I wanna put at least a couple lemons and a couple peach trees and a few flowers over by the new campsite. Oh, are those, is that, is that a fossil spot? <gasps> Fossils! Yay! And then I'll have to remember at four, I need to come and visit with her, so like in an hour. And then I'll show you guys if I get anything cool from Tabby's house, because that would be pretty fun. Are you a fake rock? I don't think you are. No, no. I think, yeah, I already got the fake rock. That was the gold nugget today. Sorry, I've got a bit of a fever, so I'm sort of all over the place, but I'm really proud to be doing what I can. Oh, look at you! A mini drilloid. Really proud to be doing what I can for the town. Which reminds me, I will go ahead and tell Isabel, you guys don't have to see it, because I'm just going to tell her that we're going to work on the dream suite. And then I can start putting money towards that. So that hopefully I'll be able to visit you guys. Yes, fossil. Yay, fossil! In fact, here, fossil spot, I'm gonna go ahead and plant a persimmon. Because we can always change up what the fruit trees are in town. And why not plant persimmons, I guess? Here, I'm gonna plant, can I, oops, that's probably way too close. I'll just plant persimmons everywhere. <laughs> because it'll be like, uh, peaches and persimmons will be our fall fruits. There we go. And we'll save lemons. Lemons are a summer fruit, in my opinion. All right, and we're gonna wiggle this way. And so back here, we're gonna go ahead and put a persimmon tree, maybe not quite right there, maybe right here. All right, and let's see if the persimmon tree will grow here. Bury it right there, there we go. And then right here, nope. <laughs> I'm not very good with the shovel. All right, right there. Uh, I actually wanna plant a normal tree. <laughs> Believe it or not, can I plant the sapling or like the cedar sapling? Oops. That's not where I wanted it. So it's gonna it's gonna have a short, very, very short day worth of a life right there. Sorry, little guy. I really didn't mean to plant you in that spot. And then right over here, I'm gonna go ahead and plant the lemon. So I actually want a normal sapling right here. So sorry, little cedar sapling. I did not mean to accidentally plant you there. I'm gonna have to jig you up. Oh, well, at least Leaf will be happy because I bought more. <laughs> I bought some flowers from him. I think he'd be really sad if he knew what I was doing with his cedar saplings after I left the house. But he doesn't need to know that right now. And we'll go ahead and plant the yellow lilies over here. And the purple violets. Why not? Oh my gosh, purple violets. <gasps> that goes next to my house. Yes, I love these violets. They're very pretty. All right, Kid Cat, how are you doing? I need to check on Aurora real quick. Hey, uh, hey, Siri, gotta love this weather. Perfect training conditions. Psst. 
So what do you need? Man, today has been so weird. Chatters told me about this thing he really wanted, and well, I sort of made it my mission to find it for him. I ran all over the place and finally tracked it down. It was actually a great workout, but now I'm exhausted. Any chance you could deliver it for me, Siri? Oh, Kit Kat, that's so sweet. Of course I will. Oh, see, this is actually my favorite part of Animal Crossing, is making all of the villagers happy by visiting with them. So I have to go visit with Tabby in about an hour of my time. And I need to come over here. Oh, there's another fossil. We're working on making our museum. Oh, it's a gyroid. Okay, well, that's okay. I can maybe move the causeway. All right. Well, I'm not really, like, pizzazzed about keeping those guys. Eventually, I want to... Oh, fossil? Oh, my gosh. There's so many. <laughs> I'm not really pizzazzed about keeping these guys because I actually don't really have anywhere to put them for now. But eventually I want to have a house where we can have at least one room dedicated to a nice selection of them. Alright. Oh no, my pockets are full. Aurora? Are you home? Oh man. Alright, Aurora is not home. So we're going to have to cut our losses and go visit with uh, Chatter. Thankfully we have this fancy pants new bridge so that's easier to do than it used to be because I think I saw Chatter wandering around up here. Maybe? There he is! Blanche, there you are too! Yay! Chatter? Hey there, Siri! Sure feels great to play under the warm sun, huh? Fromage. So what's going on? Delivery! It is hopefully something really good. I don't know if it's like a bunch of cheese that he got for you or not, but here you go, my friend. Ah, could this be- is this the thing I asked a kid cat to snag for me? Excuse me for just a second. Oh, a cheese wall. <laughs> it is a cheese wall. Well, let me know. Let me tell you, Chatter. There's actually a cheese floor for sale. That's hilarious. Over it at the Nooklings shop. You definitely need to check that out. Uh, it's meant for me and me alone, huh? It's a cor- Oh, okay. Corseted t-shirt. Oh, my. Well, I don't know what that means. Is that like a, a sideways way to flirt with me? Not sure. Let's check this out. Um. Huh. Well, I think Blanche would look really good in it, actually. So I'm going to send that to Blanche. All right. So I've got a few new things to hand out to everybody, like the beaded shirt. Oh, gosh. Oh, Blanche. You work way too hard trying to be trendy, Chatter. Oh, I think she took offense to the outfit he gave us. Oh, it's not work at all. It's easy for Maj. Well, I've heard everyone saying you're trying to spread the word about a new style of philosophy. What is the ridiculous name you're calling it? Cricket Marachi? You've heard of it! You've heard of Cricket Marachi? I've heard that's the latest trend! It's a new style for home decor, personal fashion, and everything! It's spreading around the world! It is not! That is just something you made up. I am not going to fall for your dumb tricks. Okay, you caught me. I'm not really into that anymore. That's so one hour ago, Fromage. I'm totally into roller skating folk now. That's the latest style philosophy. You know what's really stylish? Not faking it all the time, quite so. Oh my gosh. We have our fashion, like, police and expert. Oh, her tiny little adorable footprints blanch on the case. She's gonna make sure that everybody, like, quite sews themselves into staying in place uh, with what they need to do. But alright, I'm going to go ahead... And I'm going to sell a few things to Reese. I'm going to activate the construction on the dream suite. And I'm going to send off some of these clothes and cross my fingers that the villagers will put them on. So I'm pretty excited about that. And Genji, what the heck are you doing in here still? The man is just like buying so many new things. All right. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.